Right, it's um, still... I don't actually remember the date, is it the 10th of July? Uh, it's just gone 10 o'clock. Just got a text. Uh, that the theatre's empty now. She's been waiting since, I don't know, 5 o'clock. So that's made it worse, because, you know, when you have to wait for, well, anything, yeah, especially an operation. So she's been getting more and more panicky. Um, but anyway, um, hour after hour, you know, texting, phoning, you know, still waiting, still waiting. You know. One of the other complications she told me about is that internal bleeding for the eye, maybe during when they're doing stitch. Though I would have thought that stitching is quite a, you know, a small procedure. You, know, you often see in these programs that they show you about doctors that the, um, the main surgeon will do all the complicated bits like cutting open and doing all the complicated bits and then when it's all finished he will get someone else to do the sewing up for him so I assume it's quite routine. Anyway, um, they've got the phone that the theatre's ready. The doctor has been, uh, his phone saying that it'd be 15 minutes so that's about 10 minutes away. But she's worried, you know, she's texting me saying that she's worried that you know, she doesn't get hot and bothered and panicky. Because I think she's worried that, you know, uh, you know I told her, I asked, you know, tell the, the doctor all these things. You know, he's a nice doctor and you know, he's already said, you know, don't worry, it'll be okay. But, you know, you often think about all, all the worst things that can happen. I know, I had um I had a procedure where I had to have, um, oh, there's another chair, these are quite aptly positioned, aren't they? <laughs> I had a procedure where um, um, I was getting stomach problems, acid, which I still get. So they had to put a tube down my throat. And I was worrying about all sorts of things, you know? Um, I just got a text. Let me just check what that says. She just reconfirmed what she told me that she loves me and uh, uh, tell her mother everything's going on because um, the battery's running out, which is even worse. But anyway, so she'll be going shortly now. Um, yeah, anyway, I have the procedure, and you, you worry about these things, and often things that you know, 100 things you worry about, and uh, none of these things ever happen. So I, I told her to, you know, ask him and he can reassure her that, you know, I think what she's worried about, which she would, is he's going to have to, you know, they're, they're going to put clamps to get to the, the top of the eye and that's going to hurt anyway because they can't freeze that. Uh, I always do that left eye, but it's actually a right eye. Anyway, so she's worried that they're, they're going to freeze it, um, but she's worried that she's going to get panicky and she's going to, you know, want to move her eye. You know, which obviously you would do if it's if you have to like keep it down so you can sew a bit here. You, you know, you can like blink or something. But I suspect that when she freezes, when they freeze it, she probably I know she won't be feeling it, but she probably won't even be able to have the sense of movement. So she won't need to blink it. You know, she won't um, need to move it. So that she's probably worrying about something she doesn't need to. Um, but obviously, you know, it's, after hours and hours of waiting. You know, and all the complications of being on her own. You know, she stopped me from going, but had we known that it was going to be this long, I could have, could have gone there and got back time for, for work tomorrow. So anyway, now it's just the waiting now. We know that it's coming soon and just hope and pray that everything goes okay. There's no complications, you know. She doesn't, there's no pain that whatever there is that she can take and you know that she doesn't get panicky or hot and bothered and she doesn't move her eye and he sews it up nicely there's no complication no internal bleeding no problems and everything's all okay um, that's that's all we can hope for anyway that, that's it for now um, and I'll update you when I find out how it's going.